guys, how are you doing? My name is Tisa and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reacting to Steins Gate Zero episode 11. So yeah, there's this little fly flying around in my room and it's so small and fast that I can't get it. So it might be possible that there will be a fly flying in front of the cameras. So sorry about that. But yeah, I'm super excited about the episode which we'll be watching today. I have a feeling that it will get darker and a lot more intense again. Okani finally shared some of his knowledge and secrets with Maho, who aside from Okani knew Kurisu the best, like since she was such good friends with her. And I have a feeling that she'll really be a good support to Okani. So it was good that he shared some like knowledge and information with her. But then she shared her secret of having Kurisu's data and that she entrusted it to a trustworthy person and we don't know who it is but I have a feeling that it's already in the wrong hands so yeah I'm really excited to find out who this person is and what the consequences are so without further ado let's right into the episode so let's go all right I'm ready so I'm gonna set the episode in three two one Go. What is this Narnia-esque <laughs> secret passage? Daru! Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, he's trustworthy. Okay, so... But they don't know the password. But this might still turn bad. Like, I know that is to be trusted. He's not gonna betray Ocarina or... Definitely on purpose anyways. But... Who knows? Like, maybe if they activate the computer... You don't know who is watching too. Like, it's... Some hackers in the world are, like, super super skilled so maybe for those people it's super easy to get into the computers one hack it so so i feel like the safest option is to just let the comp like the laptop be and do nothing with it But at the same time, you want to know what's on the computer as well. Like, what kind of data. Wonderful new world. Oh, so they didn't even know they were like the open they were contacting with. Exactly. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean... He's gonna tell her everything. Yep. Kagari. Oh no. What's that location? Oh no. Oh no. See, see, I knew it. I had a really bad feeling about this episode. Yes. Yeah, Okarin doesn't want that either. If it isn't too late. Oh no. <gasps> See, here they come. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, he has a secret exit. Wait, did they leave Kurisu's laptop behind? 
What did they do with Chris's laptop? Oh no. <laughs> Daddy, oh my god. Nope. Okay, so I suppose Chris's laptop isn't there. Really? Oh. Okay. Okay, yeah, that was Kulisa's laptop. Oh my god, no! The laptop is destroyed, though. Oh. Yeah, exactly. And then the police will get involved as well. Oh, no. Did she get shot as well? Uh. Oh, a shard of Chris's computer. I, I know who that person is. Okay, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm almost sure who that person is. Yeah, a lot happened and she got a lot of new information as well. She's dying. 
It was just an accident. She's so cute. Exactly. Hmm. Hmm. She's not right now she's being really honest about her feelings of how she truly felt about Kurisu. Exactly. Rintaro. Still find him suspicious. Rintaro. See, see. <laughs> oh, 
What a coincidence! She hurt her hand as well! <laughs> oh, guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> gonna miss Maho. I hope we can see her soon again. I don't think this will be the last time we get to see her in this show. What was that about? Excuse me. <laughs> oh no. Okay, now my certainty went from 90% to 50%. <laughs> Oh. I already found that other professor, I forgot her name, the female professor, I already found her suspicious. Um, also because of the way she looked at Kagari a few episodes ago. Um... But why did... What did why did they show her lap or like her hand that we didn't really get to see? Because at first I thought that um the the woman with the helmet um was um what's her name again? Yuki? But now I'm not really sure anymore. Like, what if the professor also hurt her hand, but we couldn't see that because the blanket was on top of it? Then we have two possible candidates, and what Yuki was saying was just the truth, that she hurt herself with a knife. Oh no! <laughs> oh, this show really tr loves messing with my head. Alright, so that was episode 11 of Steins Gate Zero. Like I said, things got a lot more dark and intense again. Yeah, we had another attack from one of the organizations Mr. Brown mentioned. I don't know which one it is. But they somehow knew the location, which is a bit strange. I think it might be through Daru's computer. Who knows? Like, I was already surprised by Daru's secret part-time job and that he was doing this. I didn't expect him to be this trustworthy 
person that was um, holding on to Kurisu's computer. So that wasn't as bad as I thought. I thought the laptop was already in bad hands, but that it was Daru it already made me a little bit relieved. But they still um, exposed their location somehow. Like I said, through technology you can like expose your location right away. So that's not really surprising. But yeah, I'm not really sure about who this woman with the helmet is anymore. She's probably the same person as at the as during the previous attack, but I was just so sure that it was Yuki, but now I'm just super confused because of that last scene of this episode. But I still keep her in mind as a suspect, as a possible uh, as a possibility. But now also the other professor is also one of the candidates which I have in my mind. But yeah, this episode was really focused on Maho again, like how she viewed Kurisu. She was really open about it towards Okarin. That's why I like that relationship between them. And like I said, I don't really see it as a romantic relationship. I feel like Maho is now starting to see him as a, you know, as a potential candidate for romance but we all know even Maho knows that she has like no chance against uh, Kurisu when it comes to Okarin's feelings but I like about Maho that she's like so understanding you know in the in the beginning of the episode when Okarin still wasn't really willing to you know tell her everything she, even then she was really understanding and also afterwards she really understood how important that research data was and how dangerous it could be so yeah that's why I will miss Maho she has already become one of my favorite characters of Steins Gate and now she's uh, going to America together with uh, Professor Leskinen and I have a feeling that we'll get to see her again but we don't know when and how long it'll take until the next encounter but now I have no idea where the story is gonna go to because the laptop is destroyed so I think the data is destroyed as well so are they done with the mission? Probably not. So I'm just really excited to see how the story's gonna develop from this point onwards and how this might still possibly lead to that third world war. So yeah, that was my reaction to this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you cannot wait to see my reaction to the next episode, you can always check out my Patreon. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.